Hey everybody, it's John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC. Today we've got the Solvo SV06 and I've stumbled onto something that's a pretty big design flaw within this 3D printer. I've got a temporary solution, let's talk about it. Now I'm assuming a lot of us made our way here because we are all dealing with a little warning label that pops up on our LCD screen that says heating failed, bed printer halted, please reset. What does that mean? I don't understand. And after you reset it, it still doesn't work. You still get that same error message. So what is going on? Well, you kind of have two things that are happening there. Either your bed is not heating up or your extruder is not heating up. One of those two things is not heating up and it's causing the entire system to completely halt. But why? Why all of a sudden would my 3D printer after, you know, two and a half months of use just show that error message and refuse to print? Well, your bed and your extruder, the temperatures are controlled by what's called, and if I'm wrong here, please correct me, they're called thermistors. You have two thermistors within this 3D printer, one for the bed and one for the extruder. If electricity is not getting to them or you they have gone bad, that would cause the bed or the extruder to not heat up. And just to slightly clarify, when I say electricity not getting to the thermistor, it could be the electricity is getting the thermistor, but the thermistor, it can't translate the signal to the bed or the extruder. But there's a break in the line somewhere for the flow of electricity is what I'm trying to say. Well, how do I know if it's a bad thermistor or if just electricity is not getting somewhere within the system? A little bit of that can be answered with how long you've had the machine and how much use you've gotten out of it. These things are meant to go for days at a time printing and they have a year long warranty. My personal opinion is it's, it's probably not your thermistor, but we can check it. We can check them. I'll show you how to check it right here this is a little motherboard area that cable running off there's going to be a spot for an allen key there and it's going to be the second biggest allen key that you get with this solvo sv 6 and it's very very simple you know i mean it even shows you how on or off which way to turn it very easy comes right out of there but this is really what it looks like and here's a great diagram of where your thermistors are, what to be looking for. Are they charred? Are they black? Are they are they unplugged? Some people will say to unplug the thermistor for the bed and plug it into the extruder. If you're having extruder problems, if you're having bed problems, unplug the thermistor for the extruder and plug it into the bed just to see if you can get them to turn on and turn up as far as the heat goes. But like I said, more than likely, it's not gonna be your thermistors. Majority of the time, the people that I'm seeing that are dealing with this problem, which there are actually a ton. If you Google this, you'll find that Solvo has their own forum dedicated to this problem pretty much. What's more than likely happening is there's a break in the electrical line somewhere either going to or from the thermistors and a lot of the times that can be found right on the bottom of the bed. And I'm just going to prop that up here and if you see the Ronald McDonald looking wires, we got red, yellow, and we got a black one. And this is, they're all attached to the bed so there's a lot of movement coming from these wires and it's attached to the bed by a zip tie and you can really really see where this zip tie would rub on these wires and start to chafe them away and it may not be at the point of that zip tie it may be down here a little bit further uh, that leads into the motherboard so somewhere along this line you have a lot of movement coming from the bed and when you have that movement you're gonna get friction and that friction is gonna cause breaks in the line now I'm in the process of Solvo getting back to me they say 24 to 48 hours Solvo will get back to you they send me an automated email just kind of explaining hey one of our engineers or techs are gonna take a peek at this they send me that late Thursday night I did not hear anything Friday hopefully Monday morning I hear something but my temporary solution would be first you're going to want to start by unplugging everything that you can unplug. I'm talking unplugging from this uh, the tower, unplugging from the wall, unplugging your extruder, anything that you can unplug, unplug it. So then we're going to plug everything back in and then we're going to give these wires here a jiggle. Give them a jiggle, give them a shake. There's, like I said, there's some type of short happening. If we can get them jogged back into place, at least to get the printer to work, that would give you a somewhat of a temporary solution. We'll try it here for me and see what we got going on. And I just put it on 42 degrees and we'll see if the bed starts to heat up. 26, 27, 28. Looks like we're on the upward climb here. So give everything that you can a little jiggle, give it a shake, unplug everything that you can. I'll keep you posted on what Solvo has as far as the solution goes. I don't really see any type of solution other than completely new wiring or just giving me another 3D printer. I don't know what Solvo is going to do. Maybe they don't do anything for me. So Solvo, the ball's in your court about how you want to go about this. I come from the car dealership industry and it seems like the amount of people that are dealing with this problem, it should be a pretty large recall is what it should be. I don't even know how Solvo would expect me to fix this. Are they going to have me do solder new wires on the bottom of my bed? I don't know. I doubt it. I would hope that Solvo just chalks this up as a very large design flaw and takes care of it. But regardless, if you're having this problem, jiggle every wire that you can, unplug anything that you can, and more than likely, you'll get it to work for a short amount of time until it shorts out again. You kind of got to go about the entire thing all over again, unplug everything, jiggle everything until you can get it going. Very annoying, huge problem, but at least you can get your 3D printer somewhat working 
working if you absolutely have to. This is John Reinhardt with Reinhardt Group LLC. I hope this video helped. If you guys have any questions or if you have any other solutions that you felt that really, really worked for this problem, please put them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.